we are talking about the special sauce for success. And the special sauce is, is much simpler than you think. So, to get into today's show, let me throw out a question to you. How many of you made a New Year's resolution this year? Now, how many of you have completed that resolution, or, or at least close to completing it? Unfortunately, it's a small fraction. Every year, millions of people, and we know the numbers, millions of people create New Year's resolutions. Millions. Uh, and unfortunately, many of them fail to reach their goal before the end of the year. So what happens? What causes that? You know, why is it so hard for some people to, to reach goals that they set? Uh, you know, resolutions, goals. Uh, I saw another um, chiropractic consultant in the space the other day saying that he doesn't use goals, he uses targets. And I'm like, that's the same thing. Resolutions, goals, targets. Why, why do so many people fail to to reach those goals that they set. I think we're all well-meaning, all well-intentioned. We have every intention of completing that resolution when we make it, whether it's to lose weight or to do something in our business or improve our relationship, whatever it is, we all have good intentions when we make those resolutions, those goals, those targets, whatever they might be, but most people don't. In my experience, this failure is due to a lack of focus. It's one thing, focus, and I know that sounds simple and to a certain degree it is. But you, do you know what you need to do to fix a lack of focus? This one's going to blow your mind. Are you ready? This is what you need to do to fix your focus. You need to focus. <laughs> I know. I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, Dr. Scott, you, my friend, are a genius. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. That's right. The secret to focus is to focus. But let me dig a little bit deeper into that. Uh, it requires a small daily commitment to reviewing your direction. You need to know your current position. You need to know where you're at on that path to your goal. And you need to take time every day to focus and to analyze your position. You know, this is where I was, analyze that, this is where I'm going, and this is what I'm, where I am right now and what I need to do right now. And if you can be consistent and be thorough in making this daily review, you'll help to maintain your focus in three different ways. First, you are going to you know, think about your goal. Refocus your mind toward that end. I mean, I talk all the time about my five minute journal uh, I, or journaling of any sort, and it could simply be having it written down on a piece of paper, having it up on your mirror or whatever it is, just taking that split second to refocus your mind towards your end goal. What are you after? Uh, and again, making sure that, that what you're after is what you are after, not someone told you somebody to be after. It needs to be something that you look at and it inspires you. You know, many times we get so caught up in the daily grind that we forget what we are doing or why we are doing what we are doing. And, you know, the ultimate point to our work gets lost in the shuffle. The ultimate point to us, you know, hustling gets lost. Looking towards your goals, reminding yourself of your purpose, trains your mindset toward that goal again. Uh, so if you lose your focus, you get off track and life gets at you uh, and you start finding yourself doing those other things, having that good focus point uh, for that goal helps to strengthen you know, the signal of the goal over the rest of the noise. Uh, and there's a lot of noise out there, as we all know. The next way that this daily reflection maintains your focus is in remembering how far you've come. We did a whole show last week, maybe the week before, on looking back to move forward to realize how far you've come along that path to that goal. So someone who, let's say they did set a New Year's resolution to, to lose weight and they wanna lose 20 pounds and three months in they've lost 10, you know, humans can have this defeatist attitude and they look at it like, oh, I still got 10 pounds to lose. But if they went back and looked at pictures of themselves three months ago and they're 10 pounds lighter, they should be excited about that. They've only got 10 more pounds to lose. I know that's kind of a semantics thing, but we get this defeatist mindset. But when we look at the ground that we still need to cover, we sometimes lose our motivation. Like, oh, I got to keep doing this for another three months. Uh, you know, it's just too hard, we tell ourselves. But by looking back at how far we've come, we affirm within our minds that that change is possible. I can reach that goal because of how far I used to be from my current position. You know, I'm standing here now, and again, whether that's weight loss or your business, um, I meet with so many chiropractors that, that have had great success. They still want more, and they're frustrated, but if they looked at what they, where they were when they first came out of school, they'd be like, wow, I've really, really accomplished some things. 
So knowing the distance as you've already traveled makes the journey feel a lot shorter. So that's the second thing you need to focus on. Third thing, lastly, after completing these first two steps, looking forward towards your goal, figuring out exactly, you know, reminding yourself what you want, looking back to see how far you've come, you need to look at what you're doing right now with that perspective that you've gained by looking forward and looking backward. What you're doing now, today, is ultimately the most important step. That's where you have the most control, right? Uh, you can decide what you're gonna do today, but it won't matter unless you've already examined everything else. And that's kind of a deep subject. Um, figuring out what your most pr important priority is today is something we've talked about a little bit and we're gonna get dig into deeper here in the next few months. Uh, a good friend of mine, Dustin, just did a video yesterday for his consulting business uh, and the title was Nothing Changes If Nothing Changes. So he talked about um, you know, his project management solutions. But for me, when I watched it, I got the, you know, the concept that where we are right now, if you're looking forward and you look back and you're like, what do we have to do today? Sometimes you've got to adapt. So you can say, hey, I was there and now I'm here and these are the things I did to get me here. So I'm gonna do more of those things to get there. That's not always the case either. Uh, a lot of times we gotta shift. Uh, if you don't change what you're doing, you'll end up in the same place. Uh, so again, that's a deeper subject. I just kind of went off on a tangent there, but you can focus your work after doing this little exercise, looking ahead, looking back, figuring out where you are now. You can focus your work now towards your goals, towards the future with that added motivation that comes from looking at how far you've come. And that simple daily exercise, five or 10 minutes. Again, if you use the five minute journal, just five minutes. Uh, if not, maybe 10. But that five to 10 minute reflection in the morning or in the evening, but done every day, that focus will improve your focus uh, and will move you closer to your goals, closer to launching yourself to that next level of success that I always talk about faster than you ever thought possible. A quote that I, and I don't know if anybody, you hear it as I'm saying it, but the, this sounds like a contradiction to some things that I say a lot. We'll get to that in a second. But one of my favorite quotes, I'm kind of paraphrasing here, is that becoming an overnight success takes years of hard work. So is that a contradiction to what I talk about as a chiral launch? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I talk about these chiral launches because when I go in to meet with somebody, they've already laid the groundwork. They're just missing a few key ingredients that allow them to just take off quickly. So they've already done all this patience uh, stuff. They've already done all the hard work to get themselves to a place where now we just have to remove a few obstacles and they can jump to the next level. Preparing to launch is a necessary component here. That patience, that consistency leads to your ability to jump. When I talk about launches, uh, nobody can launch from here to there. Uh, it's a series of launches. You've got to prepare yourself, launch, prepare yourself, launch. Um, so there's still patience, there's still consistency in there, but all I'm saying, going back to what I just said about nothing changes if nothing changes. Uh, if you say, hey, I was there, now I'm here, and these are the things I, I did to get here, and you keep doing those same things, it won't, it, those things got you here, but they won't get you there. My Cairo launches are based on showing you what will get you there and get you there quickly. Uh, and then you have to lay more groundwork to get to the next step. Hopefully that makes sense and, and you see why that's not a con contradiction. But overnight success in and of itself uh, is a myth. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it goes against the journey that's needed for success. Uh, now, I've also been talking a lot about happiness now and enjoying that journey, uh, enjoying the hard work, enjoying the hustle. Uh, big part as well, you should be able to focus on that journey and examining your position on that journey, where you are right now in that journey is what will keep you motivated for success. It will, what, what will keep you with that focus that I talked about, um, you know, focusing so that you can focus. Uh, and it's even during necessary slow points in your progress, like I talked about, where you do have to lay the groundwork before you jump to that next level. The key here is that you are the one in control of your thoughts. No one else can make you lose focus. Uh, you know, I know there's a lot of distractions out there, but you get to control that. You get to choose what you do today to move you towards your goal tomorrow. You know, as humans, I know it, we are impatient creatures. Uh, you know, our biological imperative makes us demand satisfaction right now. Uh, that's just the way we're wired. And when we see a goal that's far away, our instinct is to abandon it and start on something new that will give us instant reward. And we want to, you know, shoot for that somewhat delayed gratification, although we should have gratification in the work that we're doing as well. Uh, and sometimes that 
thing that we give up our long-term goal for is something that's a little bit more tangible in the present. But when you're playing the long game and you're looking for your chance to make those jumps, to jump over your current levels of success, you need to fight that natural urge uh, and, and give in to some of that delayed gratification and just soldier on while making sure that you're on the right track. And that's the key here. That's the focus that I'm talking about is by looking behind you, seeing where you are, you're going to make sure that you're on the right track every day. You're doing the things today that are going to help you get to where you told yourself you wanted to go without losing focus. Looking back at everything you've accomplished so far and working as hard as you can now to ensure that you're going to make it in the future. Thank you for tuning in again for another episode of Coffee Dr. Scott. Enjoy your coffee. Look forward to talking to you then.